I'm just really in shock right now. This is a review for Lords of the Sith, a book written by Paul S. Kemp and released on April 28th, 2015. And it has to be one of the darkest books ever written for the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And I'm talking about legends and canon. It's even darker than the Joe Schreiber books. Kemp wrote three Star Wars novels for the Legends Expanded Universe, including Deceived, a tie-in to the Old Republic video game from Bioware. I like Deceived. It was a story about the rise of Darth Malgus. The story isn't a dark one, but there's a few moments where it is. But this, Lords of the Sith, it's ridiculously dark. But for the first time, we do get to see Vader and Sidious in action together. So if you saw my review of Tarkin, you already know that I'm a huge Sidious fan. Although in this, we only get to see a small fraction of his power. But Vader? He's like something you only see in nightmares. Kemp even takes us into his mind and reveals some of his crazy ass thoughts. Well, I think I'd have crazy thoughts too if I slaughtered hundreds of kids. But we do learn more about what gives him his power and why he remains loyal to the Emperor. The original trilogy couldn't capture Vader's abilities like this. So with this being the fourth installment of the new canon expanded universe, this is based eight years after Revenge of the Sith and around the same time as A New Dawn. So Anakin Skywalker is now a distant memory, but there are moments where he does flash back to his previous life as a Jedi. Only now, those moments feed his anger. And there's some parts in this book where he literally terrifies me. I mean, I know it's fake, but in real life, I nearly shit my pants. So here's the plot. There's a rebellion unfolding on the planet Ryloth, and the Emperor plans to personally expose the traitors with the help of his faithful apprentice. Cham Syndulla, the male Twi'lek freedom fighter leader of Ryloth that you may remember from the Clone Wars, alongside the female Twi'lek Isval, a vengeful former slave, they both see this as a way to weaken the Empire. Ryloth is once again fighting to free their planet from slave labor and spice production. And Sindula blackmails Imperial Colonel Belcor Dre to help him execute his plan. While Dre was only using Sindula in his own ambitious plot to overthrow Moff Dillian Moors. Moors is a, shall I say, lazy female Moff. Well, she's basically only lazy because she's mourning over the loss of her wife. Well, at least they're attempting to try and make this new expanded universe seem a little bit more realistic, right? Anyway, Dre's treachery slaps her in the face like, wake up, this ain't no game, you got work to do. So some of the things that I like about this book are that we get to see the true power of the Sith. And then we also get to see a little bit more of the relationship between master and apprentice. You also find out that you really don't want the emperor to show up at your doorstep. It's kind of like when you bit a rat all your life and then Kaiser Soze shows up at your front door and then you have no choice but to be like, hey, what's up, man? Want to join us for dinner? Having tacos? Please don't kill me and my family. Well, you already know what's about to happen. And to be really honest, I know I said this story was the darkest of any Star Wars novel ever written, but it's fucking Star Wars. But there are a few things I didn't like. Everything seems to take place in a span of a few weeks. So Kemp attempts to cram a whole lot of information in a short amount of time. Three quarters of this book is based on a single major space battle over Ryloth. And the rest is basically a hunt that ends tragically, which is cool, but it's not really that cool. And Vader isn't really much of a Sith Lord, but more like a errand boy for his master. Although it does seem to pave the way to the conflict he experiences over time as Sidious's apprentice. So my grade for this book is an A minus. It's good for a reread, but I'm already kind of thinking about the next Star Wars adult novel release. It's like the Michael Bay and Quentin Tarantino collaboration for a Star Wars novel. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, click the link below and grab your copy. So. Hope you all enjoy watching and may the fourth be with you. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. You can watch any of our most recent videos and you can subscribe to the channel to get instant access to any new videos that we publish in the future. 
can also access our website at lawtv.me. There you'll find more videos, articles, and photos, and you can sign up for our newsletter. Thank you for watching. See you on the next episode.